Today we're going to get the final update on the Red Sea Nano Tank. What is going on guys? Devin from Reef Dudes. Now, as you guys know, especially if you watched last week's video, I am about to move, we're moving the tanks, and the Nano's going to be upgraded to a 60 gallon-ish frag tank, which is going to be my new office tank. So again, this is quite possibly the final update on the Nano Tank. It's been an absolutely awesome tank, but I want to give you guys a bit of an overview on what I've done with it. I also had a couple of requests asking how would I do for maintenance, so we'll kind of talk about all that today and give you guys an update. So we have the Red Sea Nano in all of her glory. So this has been an awesome little tank. It's been up for a year and a bit now. Um, this was going to turn into a full rock fire tank, but since I'm moving tanks now, the rock flowers may be just part of the office tank. I don't know if I'm going to somehow find a little section for it, but we'll figure that one out when the time gets closer. The mesh top on this one is a DIY one. And I have done a few videos on DIY mesh tops, so I can try and link it to this one in the bottom below. Um, the cool thing about this is it has these little flange corners on it, so it sits just inside the lip of the tank, similar to the D&D &D one. And the mesh I use on it is really cool. It's, uh, I think that's called Tool, Tooly Tool, something like that. I know I'm saying it wrong, I think it's tool. And it's used for dresses, but it's super thin, you can barely even notice it. Now the tank itself is lit by the AI Prime HD, and I know I have definitely shared the schedule on this a couple times, so you can find that on reefdudes.com, or on the Facebook group, facebook.com slash group slash reefdudes. Now if you're not in the community, you guys should definitely check that out. It's a great place to ask questions, help each other out, share your tanks, and all that good stuff. Gotta love those tasty top-down shots. Mm-mm. Now, if you guys haven't taken time to stare at your tank top down, you really should. It's just such an amazing view. I did sell a few of my rock flowers, sadly. I, I have been keeping my favorites. And a few of them, you know, pretty cool, but not quite favorites. I've let a couple go. Just to help kind of fund some parts and some supplies for the new build coming up. Now, this Nano has actually been one of my easiest tanks. I try and give it a 5-gallon water change per week. It's probably... Yeah, four to five gallons every week or two, and that's about it for maintenance. Now, in the back, I do have a little bit of filter floss, and we'll show you that in a sec. And I do change that out whenever I do a water change. Uh, frag racks on the side, these guys kind of blend right into the live rock, you almost even know them, which is super cool. If we flip down this little back panel, you can see you got the filter floss. Uh, probes are just hanging out in this chamber. Now, this is where the skimmer goes. I did take the skimmer off. I found it to be a little on the loud side for my taste, and honestly, if you're doing a weekly water change, you don't really need the skimmer. Over here, we got the dosing lines and the e-coral water level sensors. Now, you may notice I do have two. I'm actually beta testing a different kind of controller product for a future release for them, so I got two on there and just trying to compare them side by side and kind of put it through the paces. Come down into the stand, a little messy at the moment. We've got the e-coral controller and the e-coral doser. Now, overall, the E-Coral has been awesome. Uh, my pH probe did finally bite the dust on that one, so that was a little bit unfortunate. I still have to get a replacement, but aside from the pH probe biting the dust, it's been good, no complaints so far. Uh, next over, that will be the kind of feature light version that I'm just kind of playing with and testing out, giving feedback on at the moment. We've got the doser. The doser has been extremely solid, and it's been extremely quiet, so I've been very happy with that. Looks like I'm just about due to top off my calcium and mag. And below we got the five gallon auto top off. Now this jug has been great. Um, it goes for ages on this little tank. And I'm currently using the XP Aqua Duetto ATL. Now this guy is super simple little guy. Goes on the back, extremely quiet. And yeah, so far this has been very reliable, very quiet and does a good job. So that's what it for the stand. So the tank is happy. I mean, no complaints with it. Coral's growing well. I got the Maggie Torts exploding over there. All the Zoas absolutely taken over. I just actually noticed those Sunny Ds somehow split. Those were all one batch right there. They've they've migrated off of their main plug, so they're expanding and taking over. Those guys, Devil's Armor, I think. It doesn't do it justice on camera, but these guys are extremely bright, so they're super cool. My one guys, this one is the white zombie. And I've had one head for ages and I'm finally up to two now. Super excited for that. Got that one in Niagara. And I got pink diamonds, I'm up to three heads. So a few of the really cool ones I'm waiting to grow. And which one is that one? That one, I think that one is the green goblin, I think. That was from the RNN one. And Gatorades, I picked that one up at OSA. Anglehead, starting to get a bunch out of that. So 
happy, things are growing, things are expanding, they're happy. And yeah, it's going to be interesting to see how the new tank kind of plays out and, you know, how I fit, if I can fit all this rock into the 60 gallon, potentially mixed in with my, all that rock. So I have no idea how I'm going to fit it all. So I really hope we can kind of squeeze it into there for now. Now, as for filtration, I do have a little cat packet of Chemi Pure Blue right there. Um, I do put that in once in a while. Overall, I don't really run carbon or GFO. Maybe every couple months, I'll throw just a little nano packet in there just for that extra little, little boost to absorb if there's anything bad in the tank. And yeah, extremely easy. Five gallon water change every week or two, and that is the, basically all it is. So one of the easiest tanks I've had. It's happy, it thrives. I dose, you know, via the e coral doser, and it gets, you know, I think it's two to three mils a day, so very little dosing. Weekly water change takes about four minutes, done. So definitely like this little tank. And I'm gonna miss this little tank. It was a beautiful little tank. So yeah, if you guys have any questions on this, let me know. Um, extremely easy, easy to maintain, easy to keep, everything's happy. Uh, I gotta plug it back in, I turn it off for a sec, but in the back, super stealthy. I have a Nero 5, an awesome little pump. You can kind of see on the side, it needs a good cleaning. And it's only running at about 20%, I believe it is. But extremely silent and tons and tons and tons of flow. Now I do have the magnet in the back side of the chamber. Now they don't really advertise you can do this, but it is kind of down there just below the overflow return or the return pump and it works well. The, the magnet is sealed. I've had zero issues. So, I mean, that is a potential option if you guys want to go that route, but having it on the black background means there's nothing on the sides and it keeps your tank looking nice and it's kind of stealthy looking good. Um, oh yeah, other note on those little AI flaps, I've seen a few people actually using them on their tanks just to block the side of the lights. So it's not hitting the eyes, another cool use. And yeah, if you guys want to check those out, I will have links to those in the description below. And yeah, so she's been good, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed these updates. And when I'm back in a month or so, we're going to see the kind of progression and moving up to a bigger tank. As always, guys, if you enjoyed it, smash that like button. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, hit that bell. And I'll catch you guys on the next update.